A very good evening to all of you joining us from India and my sincerest warm greetings to all of you who are joining us from other parts of the world. It is my great pleasure to be with all of you once again for this Instagram live session, this special session with our special guest on the topic boosting our relationships. I'm very grateful that you've taken your time out to be with us this evening to churn and discuss this very, very important and crucial aspect of our life, our emotional life, our relationships. Uh, Uddhav Hare Krishna Akash Goswami, thank you for joining us. Sakshi, uh, very, very happy that you've joined us. Aman Agarwal, thank you for being with us. Rishabh Hare Krishna, Suganta Ilayaraj, hello. Fatima, hi there. Uh, Yash Jadav, thank you for joining us. Sham Gupta, we are very happy to have you with us this evening. Uh, Kushal Gangwani, Hare Krishna. Uh, Puja, uh, the Jate, Sunny Shetty, very, very glad that you've taken your time out and are with us this evening. Puneet, Pranay Kashyap, Aditya Naidu, hello to you. Uddhav, uh, hi to you as well. Uh, Sarmad Shah, thank you for joining us all the way from Pakistan. Namaskar. Uh, Sujay Pawar, Hare Krishna. Uh, Nawaz Ishin. Oh, thank you. I mean, I think it's Boman Iraniji who's the most amazing person in the society. Not sure about me, but thank you for that compliment. Uh, Naresh Reddy, hi there. Kumar Swami, thank you for joining. Ragzi, my lucky, Vura Brunda, Anubhav, thank you all very, very much for joining us this evening. A couple of weeks back, we had, uh, not a couple of weeks, a couple of days back, we had Rujuta Divekar with us, our special guest, who spoke to us about the aspect of physical fitness and boosting our immunity. Today we want to talk about not just boosting our physical fitness, but we now want to talk about boosting our relationships. As much as it is important for us to be physically fit, that's how much important or probably even more important for us is to be emotionally fulfilled, emotionally satisfied, emotionally connected. And there's no better way of being emotionally contented and expanding our emotional quotient, our EQ, than our interpersonal relationships, our relationships with people. The fact of the matter, guys, is that as much as people and our relationships with people have the potential to bring us joy, that's how much potential they also have to disappoint us, to frustrate us, and to bring us pain, which is precisely why it's very important to learn the art of empowered and meaningful relationships. Like uh, one lady once went to a doctor and the doctor said, Madam, a couple of weeks back you came and you were complaining that you have a headache. How's your headache now? The lady said, well, he's out of town. Trust me, sometimes people are a greater headache than the headache itself. Somebody sent me a message this morning. He said, the man was saying, <clears throat> uh, five days of the lockdown are over and I've been at home and my wife is constantly going around here and there. Meri bivi yahaan maa jati rehti hai. Paanch daun din ka lockdown khatam ho gaya. Mein ghar pe baita hoon. Bivi yahaan maa aate jate kehti rehti hai. Ye bimari kab khatam ho gi? And the man was saying, Pata ne corona ke liye bol rahi hai? Ya mere liye bol rahi hai? Now jokes apart. The fact of the matter is that relationships are a package deal. Nobody is perfect. It's like a rose flower. You have the beautiful colored fragrant rose, but you also have the thorns that come along with the rose. You don't just get the thorns. You don't just get the rose. It's a package deal, guys. Human beings and relationships with human beings are always a package deal. There is the good side and the flip side or the bad side or the not so good side to every human being that we connect to. And therefore the sutra, the tagline, the foundational principle for relationships, which will be the theme of our discussion this evening, which is a take home message is this. Remember this as the sutra for your relationships. Put it on your sticky notes and put it in front of you on your walls or put it as the wallpaper of your phone or your laptops or just put it in your head and constantly keep reminding yourself of this golden mantra of this golden sutra in relationships. Here it is. Know 
human being is perfect in your relationships do not look for perfection look for sincerity genuineness and affection i repeat no human being is perfect in your relationships do not look for perfection look for sincerity genuineness and affection the more you look for perfection in the people whom you connect to you will be disappointed because people are not perfect the more you look for sincerity genuineness and affection the more the scope that you will be emotionally fulfilled and you will be able to lead a life of meaningful relationships true love and cherish the experience of interpersonal <coughs> excuse me relationships and for this to talk about boosting relationships we have this evening with us a very special guest whom i would now like to invite if you kind of give me just a moment i will just invite mr boman irani to join us in a moment to talk to us about boosting our relationships give me a moment guys just trying to get him on here okay trying to sorry sorry give me a moment we'll be with you back very soon here we go trying to connect to Bowman just give me a moment guys we'll be back with you very soon i am uh, not able to see him right now here Boman Irani ji if you are watching i think you probably have to follow this account in order to be able to come on live here i'm trying to search but i'm not able to search your name here so if you kindly just yes here we go uh boman ji you're live here with us but if you could kindly join us on this account give me a moment I'm trying to get you online here the task technology guys trying to get it it's not working but give me a moment and we'll go and we'll sort it out stay tuned stay tuned as we get bomman ji online the invite button stuck okay oh man this is stuck here yes uh so center request bomman ji if you could exp- exp- oh thank you very much oh, oh God, finally <laughs> finally i was here all along i kept saying here i'm here i'm here uh, i'm here i know i, I read your comments so many comments flying up and down i know That's and sometimes you know how technology you try to get it set and it just kind of doesn't happen but finally we are here 
so let's welcome boman ji he said to me he loves to be welcomed with a lot of fanfare yeah what happened with the fanfare and the music and, and the lights unfortunately online it's so hard to get but i know that everybody the 4600 people live are cheering for you boman and uh, i'll tell you such an incredible human being this gentleman i met him on a flight to chennai we were going to be speaking at the same event together and uh, as soon as i met him i just found him to be so much full of life so much full of happiness joy and a person who's such an amazing human being so grounded so humble and this gentleman has not failed to entertain us guys guys whether it's through munna bhai mbbs as professor astana or it is through munna bhai lagero munna bhai as lucky singh or it is through in the times of corona virus in the times of corona virus कोरोना वायरस हमारा जान खा रहा है जी लेकिन एक वायरस है जो हम पॉजिटिविटी दे सकते हैं आमिर खान और बाकी स्टूडेंट्स को बहुत परेशान किया है उन्होंने बट बट ये वायरस डॉक्टर सहस्त्र बुद्धे दिस वायरस विल ब्रिंग अस अ लॉट ऑफ पॉजिटिविटी एंड हेल्प अस टू डिस्कवर आवर रिलेशनशिप्स इन अ वेरी मीनिंगफुल वे तो थैंक यू सो मच for agreeing to be with yeah, us uh, uh, very very, very, very grateful very so grateful honor, i just messaged just messaged him last week and instantly he said with all my heart i would like to join so let's with begin our conversation heart. oh thank you thank you <laughs> so let's just begin this conversation this evening on boosting our relationships uh, i remember when we were on that flight together to chennai uh, boman asked me a question uh, swami ji do you watch movies <laughs> i <laughs> a question to ask swami ji i said i said to woman look i have so much entertainment going on in my life you know that i really don't watch that much movies any longer he said to me something interesting he said look don't just watch movies for entertainment watch movies to learn something from them and then he said if you don't watch any other movie it's fine but please watch one movie for sure and i asked him which one woman said tare zameen par now i had no clue why he said that the next morning both of us were meant to speak from stage i went a little later he was speaking on stage i came and sat and he was in stage and he came to my side and said swami ji watch that one movie tare zameen par i really couldn't figure out out of the hundreds and thousands of movies why had he chosen that one movie and asked me to watch that so when he told me that story from stage I realized why that movie was probably so close to his heart. Boman ji, I would really like to uh, have you tell that story to everybody about how you got admitted at Saint Mary's School, the role of the principal, the role of the interviewer, the role of your dear mom, and her belief in you, her you know faith in you. Don't they say that there are three kinds of people? There are whom we can never forget in our lives. The first are those who. helped us when we were in difficult when we were in difficulty the second are those who left us when we were in difficulty and the third are those who put us in difficulty <laughs> <laughs> so boman ji's story is a story about how they in those times of difficulty that's his relationship with his mom and his teacher so please boman ji share with that story with us i'm i'm not <laughs> sure which story you're asking but but i'll tell you this when i was a kid i was a very shy child mm-hmm. i lost my i lost my father you know before he before i was i was even born so i had never seen mm-hmm. him i had never no idea what he even looked like he yeah. was there was born into a home where you know everybody was mourning for some reason there was sadness all around mm-hmm. and i i i had women all around me i uh, didn't understand the species of the male species at all and mm-hmm. and and i was a very protected child so mm-hmm. and i had a speech defect i used to mm-hmm. speak and squeak and stutter and stammer and I lift mm-hmm. a lot like like viru shastra buddhi I should, <laughs> yeah, I should listen like so that. Should not give natural to. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I do. <laughs> Nothing. Just so, so, so. Every time someone laughed, I when mean, I spoke, I, it used to, you know, make me feel something's wrong with me. So, you know, I'm, I'm a defective item, defective Chinese mm-hmm. piece. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I was taken to school, and Father Molinet was, you know, taking the interview, he told my mother, you know, don't worry, we show him a photograph. He's in, and he shows uh-huh. me a photograph of a horse. You know, the horse has an S in it, and I didn't say it because when I do that, he'll think oh. I'm, in, you know, 
I'm defective goods, you know. So I kept quiet. Then he showed me uh, my mouth, and again I didn't open my mouth. I said, "Bet you better go better." उसमें भी ऐसे में mouth में भी ऐसे में हमें तो मैं चुप बैठ गया. So he didn't give admission. He said, "ये तो mouth और horse नहीं समझता है. वो क्या करेगा ये बच्चा?" Oh my God. Yeah, but you know, this is what 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 completely opened up my mind. I think about it, and he called up my mother, and he said, "You know, something's wrong. I've done something wrong." and the jesuit priest and he said you know which which child doesn't know what a horse is which child mm. doesn't know what a mouse is mm. Mm. you know the child this kid is you know just nervous he's a little scared mm. I, i i'll give him admission and i'll make make a man out of him he just needs to come out of his shell mm. Uh, mm. but to add to that story why tare zameen par is important is because that you know uh, i'm in, i'm dis- <coughs> i had dyslexia uh, this mm. dyscalculia in the good old days in the 60s dyslexia and cal- dyscalculia was uh, considered um, Uh, you know, uh, duffer, mm. stupid. You're not. You just your talents lie elsewhere. Your yeah. Talents don't lie in maths. Uh, I'm just calculic. I'm 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 not talented in maths. I'm not talented mm. in in mm. certain things. I'm talented in other things. My mother recognized it, and thankfully, and my mother always supported me. And mm. and and for for parents who who don't think that their kids aren't clever mm-hmm. because they don't know how to do maths and science. Mm-hmm. Tare zameen par is a very important thing that dyslexia yeah. is 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 something that you know that, that a child has a certain side of him that's uh, you know fabulous Correct. and a certain side that may not be so strong Correct. you know you you can't you know such an tendulkar if he was to be a mathematician i mean you would have lost out you know yeah. a great cricketer you know that's sure. what sure. yeah so i and and that's why i may have told you what's tare zameen par you know Yeah, now I know. But, but now the question is, did you watch Tare Zameen Par? I that? did, sir. I there did. Absolutely. It was a movie that I saw after ages. Actually, after ages, I saw the first movie, and you were responsible, Bhavanji, for good, me good. watching that movie Tare Zameen Par, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yes, Amir yes. Khan was just such a spectacular acting in that, and then the little boy, lovely, absolutely amazing, and that song, you know, Main Kabi Dikhlata Nahi. Oh my oh, goodness, oh boy, you know, oh, man, boy. you just have. Tears gliding down your cheeks, you know, yeah. when you listen to that song. Such an yeah. emotional experience in watching that movie, for sure. So, thank you for sharing that story. It's an amazing story, and uh, I feel that you know, absolute power. They say power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Right. But then power can serve. Absolutely. And and absolute power can serve absolutely. And the principle was like that, isn't it? He used yeah. his power to call your mom, and use his power yeah. to serve and get you in. Yeah. And that's why we have you here now talking to yeah. us. <laughs> It's Imagine. amazing, amazing, and and the role of a mother, that relationship, is such a special relationship, isn't it? That you said that your father left you when you were just a young. You, you didn't even see your father. No, uh, he died before I was born. Yes, and the mm. the main relationship that you had was with your mother, who was your support, your your yeah. uh, rock, you know, and your inspiration in your life. Don't they say? Uh, A mother holds a child for nine months in the womb, for three months in her arms, and in her heart forever. Isn't it? Oof. Such an incredible role mothers have to play. So, anything that you have to share as your relationship with your mom, and you know, how did you kind of connect to her, and you know? <laughs> I think my mom recognized that you know, even as a shy child, I I like to perform, I like to sing, I like to come up, I write some skits and act them out for her. I used to act them out for her, and she used to encourage me to watch movies and go see plays, and put me in the time and talents club, and send me to a speech t- therapist to, mm-hmm. to, clear, to clear this up. And that changed me in, on a, mm-hmm. a confidence mm-hmm. level. Mm-hmm. But uh, but her uh, understanding of where she needed to just push me mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. is 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 not is the genius of a mother, mm-hmm. not the genius of. Of a scientist, it's a genius mm-hmm. of a mother to wow. sense that. I mm. see that in my mm-hmm. child, and I see him, I see him glowing. And when yes. you see the child glowing, you know this kid is in a good space. He's in a n- yes. nursery. He's in a garden, and she just pushes you there. That's the genius of being a mother. Nobody else can do it. Wow! Uh, and uh, she did that for me. Yeah. And thankfully, you know, I started, got in, involved with. Theater and the performing yes. arts, and you know. Yes, yes, amazing, incredibly amazing. So she guys, encourages me even today, even today. Uh huh. Yeah, I how always say this. If I might ask you, how old is she? She's ninety-three. She's ninety-three. 
Wow. She's sharper than a box of nails. Wow. Uh, she, <laughs> she's like, <laughs> she's, she's so perceptive when you enter the room, she will know from your footsteps uh-huh. whether you're, you're in a good mood or not, in not such a good mood. It's incredible. Yeah. I cannot tell you the, the perceptive, wow. the, the third eye or whatever you'd like to call it. And yes. even today she says, you know, are you going on stage? Yeah. yeah. She sends me a flying kiss wow. and says, go and, go and sparkle, go and sparkle. Amazing. You know? Yeah. And I think we need to encourage everyone, even today. Like today, what am I, what are we doing here today? Sir? What are we doing yes. here? We are just encouraging people not sure. to be, not to be sure. morose, not to see the dark side of what's happening. Yes. Probably yes. the plus side of what's happening, the brighter side of what's happening. Yes. And I think people need, father, the father Molnar did that for me. My mother Correct. did that, that for me. My yes. friends who believed in me did that for me. And, we, and in sure. turn, we've got to do it to others. Absolutely. Absolutely. Amazing. Don't they say that for this mom, you spell out mom and turn it around. It's wow, isn't it? Yeah. Mom is Absolutely. wow. You just turn the yeah. word around and it's just mom Absolutely. is just wow. Isn't She's it? just wow. She's just wow. Incredible. So yeah. I just want to tell you all guys that, you know, please, relationships, like I said, are like a rose. There's the perfect side. There's a flower, fragrant flower, but there's thorns. And everybody has some flip side to them, whether it's our parents, whether it's our sibling, whether it's our children, our spouses. Don't just focus on that side, guys. And you remember I told you that story in one of the videos, how I didn't say sorry to my father and he left. And I think that's one thing that will prick me for the rest of my life. So do not oh, kind boy. of, you know, please do pay attention to your parents, guys. Those of you youngsters who are watching us uh, uh, together on this topic of boosting our relationship. But thank you for sharing that relationship with your mom, Bamanji. Now, uh, moving on uh, from a pers- very personal relationship with your mom, with the principal who kind of gave you that opportunity, you moved and moved on in your journey, right? Uh, yeah. uh, it's like, uh, it's like they, don't they say that if you find uh, what you truly love, in your life, your passion, you will right. never have to work for a single day in your life because it's mm. just so much naturally you. Right? Right. And you moved on from being a waiter. You began your journey as a waiter at Taj and then, right. you know, moved on to be a photographer. Shopkeeper, then... shopkeeper. 14 <laughs> shopkeeper. years as a shopkeeper. Oh, yeah. Wow. Shopkeeper. Mm. And then now a, a celebrated actor with so many incredible roles that you've played. Uh, in this entire professional relationship, right? There must have been somebody who believed in you to give you that opportunity in the industry. Because unless you get that break, unless you get that, you know, connect, it's extremely difficult because that, that you may have the talent, you may have the passion, you may have the fire, but you need someone who said, like your mom sensed something in you. You must yeah. have somebody around in the industry, in the field you are in, who senses that, who kind of, you know, uh, gives you that opportunity. Was there someone in that professional relationship who you feel like, you know, your mentor, your guide, or someone you feel indebted to, someone who gave you that chance? So many people, sir. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Thank you, pardon. So many people. Um, most of all, it was Shamak Dawar. Oh. Uh, the great, yeah, and he came to get his pictures done at my studio when I was a photographer. Okay. And he looked at me and said, you know, something, something. Uh, okay. And then uh, he one day, about eight months later, after I did his pictures, he came to the studio and he looked around and said, okay, uh, I'm taking you for an audition. Oh, wow. I said, I'm a photographer. What am I auditioning for? Mm-hmm. For the stage. Oh. I said, no, 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 not now, not yet. Mm-hmm. Say, no, you're an actor. I said, says who? So he says, says you. Oh. Every, every bit of you, every bone, every <laughs> muscle of you, your voice, from your voice to your demeanor, to your perf- to your attitude tells me you're an actor. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. so don't lie to me. And most most importantly, don't lie to yourself. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Because that's that's something I always yeah. wanted to do as a kid, but I just yes. started, you know, making a career as a as an as as a photographer. And then he took mm-hmm. me, I got got auditioned and I got a three minute part in, in a play. And those three minutes were like... This was in Bombay? Day. This was in Bombay. Okay. Uh, the three-minute part in a play, it was like magical, those three minutes for me. Uh, and everybody said, Who, yeah, oh my, who's that guy? You know, he, where did he come from? Mm-hmm. And um, so... It, but eventually you land up there in some form mm-hmm. or 
Mm. Someone is going to take you there, you know. And there will yes. be people who, and 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 the big. So if you ask Shamak, he says, "No, I I didn't take you there. Mm -hmm. uh, I was told to take you there." Mm. Yeah, and and I was told to take you. They did they did a film after that, which was a digital film, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, on a video uh, handy cam. Mm -hmm. Not the qual this quality of our phone, uh, which sure. we are watching, is. Four hundred times better than that film. We, so, <laughs> Old style so cameras. Made, yeah, those 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 uncles used to take yeah, on the smaller ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and we made a film, and uh, and then the film, of course, was never meant to be uh, released. And Vidhu uh, Vinod Chopra uh, mm -hmm. saw, saw the edit of the film. Mm -hmm. For some reason, his movie Mission Kashmir was going on at the same time. Mm -hmm. So he looked at the other other machine in the edit mm -hmm. room, and he say, "The actor who is." And mm -hmm. he, he says, "Bring, bring him to me." Mm -hmm. And he gave me a check of two lakhs as a signing amount. I said, "For what?" Right. So he says, "Which movie? I'm making for my next movie." Oh wow! I said, "Which movie?" <laughs> he said, "I don't have a movie." <laughs> wow! You don't have a movie? I'm giving you money. He said, "Yeah, I'm just letting you know that the next time you, I do a movie, mm -hmm. you will be in it because oh. if you start doing movies." If you start doing movies, believe me, there will come a day where you tell me that I don't have a date dates for you. I don't want to hear that from you. So I said okay. <laughs> and sure enough, in the next film that he did, I mean, of yes. course, that movie turned out to be Munna by MBBS. Oh, oh, that was that yeah. the one? Oh, okay. Yeah. So eight months later, he calls and says, "I got a movie." He said, "What's the name?" He said, "Munna by MBBS." Ah. Uh, so I think it's so important that people have to uh, yes. see see something in you, and if you see something in people, don't let it. Don't sleep over it. It can change Correct. a person's life. Don't True. say, you know, that guy is extremely talented, you know. Correct. And then forget about helping him. Correct. Correct. Act on it. It's more Amazing. important. And you were what? Forty-four then? Forty-three? Forty-four? I was forty-four. <laughs> forty-four. I was forty-four. Um, and uh, and the movie initially failed. It suddenly became a hit, and then. You know, I'm always grateful to Vinod Chopra for that mm -hmm. unbelievable mm -hmm. foresight Correct. and belief. Correct. So, in your personal life, it was your mom's belief that relationship. In your professional life, it was Shamak Dawar bringing you, the, giving you that opportunity, and Vidhu Vinod Chopra who believed. Then, you know, even That's before right. not having a movie, he just gave you a check straight away. So, yes, guys, we need to have somebody who believes in us. If you're wanting to follow your passion, if you do not have someone who believes in us. But keep doing what you're doing. There will be someone, as Bhaman sir said. But but somebody. more importantly, more importantly, first you have mm -hmm. to have the patience, Correct. and you have to believe in yourself. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. No spot one will on, believe sir. in a guy who doesn't believe in himself. Spot on, spot on. Amazing, amazing. Thank you, thank you for sharing that with us. Uh, moving on to our next aspect of relationship, we've had a very personal side to his mom, his school. We've had a very professional side of a relationship where he's very grateful to Vidhu Vinod Chopra to Chamak Dawar. That relationship which has made him boom, uh, bloom like this incredible flower, you know, just giving us so much happiness and joy through his acting. Now the third as oh, uh, was it your marriage an arranged marriage or a love marriage, sir? <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. No, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just being coy. <laughs> no, it was, it was a, it was a. It was a love marriage, and oh, it was a love marriage. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, my next question is about that a little bit about love. Oh boy. These these days, you know, guys and girls are like constantly in relationships. There's so many heartbreaks, so much happening there, you know. And uh, I someone asked once, where was love made? You know, love kaha bana tha? So the answer given was, uh, love was made in China. <laughs> no guarantee, no warranty. चला तो चांद तक नहीं तो शाम तक सो अगर चलता है तो चांद तक चलता है नहीं तो शाम तक चलता है समटाइम्स यू नो सो रिलेशनशिप लास्ट आजकल कभी कभी शाम तक चल जाते हैं यू नो वेरी वेरी शॉर्ट लाइफ स्पैन ट्रिमेंडस पेन एंड एग्नी एंड अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल हू फॉलो अस हियर ऑन इंस्टाग्राम आर यंगस्टर्स दोस हु आर वाचिंग अस हियर आर यंगस्टर्स यू नो द यूथ इज प्राइमरीली वाचिंग अस हियर So I was. So are we, but I don't know why you're excluding me from the youngsters group. No, we are all young. We are all young, but they are young like twenty, twenty-one year olds, Bhaman sir. Oh, <laughs> young in age. Young in age. <laughs> so uh, I wanted to ask you, if there be, if 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 that's that one thing, you know, like when you met uh, 
your love and now your wife i suppose her name is zenobia right that's yes. right i supposed to <laughs> <laughs> no i'm just trying to be sure i'm just trying no. to be sure uh, so uh, when you met her first and when you kind of got into that relationship what is that one thing you felt that made that relationship deeper and that made that relationship sustainable unlike today's you know which are like one night stands and hookups just for some physical gratification and often just the relationship break at the drop of a hat chala to chand tak jo rarely chalta hai nahi to sham tak you know so what is it uh, you thought what is it that one thing you know you feel uh, you, you 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 got you know how much time you have for this because it's going to take it will take 35 years to tell you the story oh my god <laughs> <laughs> I, I, i'll tighten it i'll tighten sure. it okay it's sure. it's a very boring love story it's a very uh-huh. boring love story really and 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 it happened i was at the wafer shop and i was selling chips and there she comes and and she came every day and and this went on and then we started talking over the phone and then um what happened was it was her exam she was doing her bsc at that point mm-hmm. of time mm-hmm. and uh, so she she was not allowed to you know come and stand at the shop and chat with me for a long time and mm-hmm. no phone calls also because she had to concentrate on her on her uh, studies studies mm-hmm. so uh, here i am literally in quarantine <laughs> think about it think about what i'm saying i yes. felt i missed i missed those conversations so much mm-hmm. and and it was just that the, the a simple thing like saying you know my dad is saying just concentrate on these just for the next you know month or so mm-hmm. that's it what's the big sack the mm-hmm. same thing the same thing that you know we've been forced to do mm. what's the what's the worst that can happen i tell you the best thing that can happen mm. many good things turn out of it you know as they say absence makes the heart grow fonder Great. i started realizing Great. how much i miss <laughs> this human being who made my life a lot richer mm-hmm. even through you know coming to buy wafers or just mm-hmm. standing and and talking on the phone mm-hmm. and i and i said to myself that i'm missing this so badly this quarantine has made me realize how much i care for this person Mm. what am i caring about the person you just can't care about a person simply because you know that you you're missing the person mm-hmm. you're missing you're missing uh, the, the transparency of looking into someone's heart mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. uh i think it's it's very important to understand that you know sometimes we we fall in love and you know there may be many reasons why you want to fall in love mm. sometimes it's it's just sometimes it's just for somebody else mm-hmm. uh, is it for someone else is to to let people know oh this is look look at the girl who i'm dating or look mm-hmm. at the guy who i'm dating and what a ca- i think it's it, there's purity that has to be recognized and if you are strong enough to recognize purity mm-hmm. uh, of a person's soul i think you're in a good place because that wow. attraction cannot be beaten yes so yes cannot be beaten so this wow. is how the story goes Wow. So when the quarantine of the exams got over mm-hmm. and I wish everybody to is listening to this and understanding that when this quarantine gets over of this corona virus yes. you should go on to the uh, bigger things and yes. and realize that you're made for bigger things yes. and don't get into the mundaneness of of your daily daily life sure uh, so anyway so comes the day we go on our first date mm. after the quarantine mm. first date and it was like it was a given there was no uh, there was no let's think about it it was so silly it was yes. so childish and yet it was so innocent and yet it was so pure yes. the moment we sat down in the restaurant yes believe me i said i think we should be getting married wow <laughs> and i said to myself what a stupid thing to do and i'm saying to myself yeah no but it was a pure thing to do because you really felt the loss of someone who you understand it uh, understood for for her, his or her purity yes and you know what she said yeah i i mean i thought it was a given yeah can you imagine <laughs> yeah i thought it was a given i said great this is fantastic this is just before even the menus come along and i've gone and said i think you should give me yeah and then uh-huh. she spooked me completely uh huh this is a joke that she's not going to forgive me but this is all over the place but uh-huh. she spoke me completely because she said oh and the moment she said i said okay i think we should marry she says yeah and then she said, oh i forgot my umbrella 
<laughs> I said, okay, won't need a TV. I have entertainment right here in front of me. We'll save on a TV. <laughs> and she said, umbrella, what happened? She said, no, it's raining. I said, no, it's not raining. She said, yeah, it's raining. It's raining. I said, no, it's not. She said, can't you hear the rain? I said, uh-huh. no, that's the... That's the sizzler guy walking by. <laughs> and I said, okay. That's hilarious. <laughs> and that brings me to a very important point. In life, you've got to look for two things. One is, uh, one, one is purity and respect. Correct. And, and I Correct. think a great sustainer yes, uh, of, yes. of a good relationship Amazing. is humor. You take Correct. out humor from your life, I tell you, you dry. It, it becomes a, it's so dry. You should dry. be have the power to convert. Uh, Agree. You know uh, something that can turn into a big boom boom and just spin it. Do the googly on it and Absolutely. bring the humor in it, and you'll Amazing. always succeed. You'll incredible. always succeed. Incredible. Thank you. Thank you. What an answer that was. What an incredible answer that was. I asked you for one thing. You gave three. <laughs> <laughs> the first one, guys. Please take note. The first one, which I really love, is to go beyond the body, go beyond the mind, and look at the purity of the soul. It has to resonate, something that so deeply resonates. Secondly, respect. Respect each other's uh, personality, respect each other's you know, individuality. And the third thing, of course, Bhumanji said, was a very powerful sense of humor to turn something that's going to be kind of a tip Catastrophic. Into- catastrophic and just turn it into a joke and laugh it out you know amazing amazing such incredible uh, principles you've shared i always say you know uh, you we are not we don't inspire people by showing them how amazing we are we inspire people by showing them how amazing they are you know sure. so what he's saying respect them you know and give them that sense of importance Amazing. Thank you, Bhumanji. And that relationship, of course, turned into a marriage. And uh, you've now married for 35 years, right? 35, 35 years. years. Two years kids and two grandkids. Together. Yeah. Is, is Zenobia around or she's not? Uh, she, uh, she, she's with her grandkids and she's okay. extremely shy. <laughs> okay, she's with she's the grandchildren. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, coming to the next part of the relationship. So we've spoken about your relationship with your mom. You've spoken about relationships with uh, your professional on a professional front. We've spoken about relationship before marriage, so dating someone. Now we're talking about relationship in marriage. People who are now watching here who are married or people who are probably right. looking forward to getting married, right? right. Uh, sometimes don't they say marriage is like a pack of cards, you know? Mm-hmm. It starts with <laughs> diamonds and hearts, but ends with clubs <laughs> and spades. <laughs> <laughs> So, so very often you find people are never perfect. Like I mentioned in the beginning, no human being is perfect. We have roses. There's the rosy side, the fragrant side, the beautiful side, the colorful side. But there's also going to be the thorny side. Thorny side. Every human being, right? And yes. uh, that's life. Adjusting and making sure we focus on the rosy rose than just the thorns, which we have to kind of accept. So I want to ask you, in 35 years, right, there may have been ups and downs, there may have been differences, there may have been fights sometimes, arguments, which is just such a part of a relationship, isn't it? And so what was that thing that you saw in Zenobia that said to you, hey, look, ye baki sab chhodo. Jo bhi hai. this is absolutely so amazing. And I, she's not here, but probably I, she, you may know. What did she see? What was that one thing that she see in you? What she saw? Yeah. What did she see? Yeah. What did she see? Yeah. No, she saw it for 35 years ago. She will see something else. 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 She will see What do you think both of you saw in each other? And which would be kind of a piece of advice to people who are watching that for our relationships to be sustainable, yes, something that we need to focus on. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I told you what I saw. I told you what I saw. I don't know what she saw. Um, I think, um, I, I, though I, I, I go back to a word that you used uh, earlier. Mm-hmm. Uh, the word adjust. Yes. You use the word adjust. And yes. I tell you, today, 
and I hate to say it, and I'm not preaching this, okay? Yeah. I hate to say it, but I think the word adjust is misunderstood. Correct. A lot Correct. of people who are fighting for individuality mm. and uh, who who want to prove themselves that they are not they are not uh, dependent on other people, which means that I am independent. Correct. Want to assert their independence. Yes. And they find that adjustment is a compromise to mm. those principles. Mm, mm, mm. And I think that it's not a compromise. Correct. When you when two people meet, it is an adjustment the day you meet. Correct. So how come you're going to start unadjusting because you feel that you know nobody's taking away your independence. Mm. Nobody's mm. taking away the fact that you are a unique person by yourself. Correct. Correct. But do not think that adjustment is a compromise that you know yes. you are compromising your own principle you are not yes. what yes. you're doing is what you're doing is you're just I beg your pardon I see the uh, yes. can you hear me yeah, yeah I can. What, 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 you, what you're doing is what you're doing is that just giving the relationship a chance rather than using a swipe across yes. a mobile screen Yes. We are too getting too used our, our zeitgeist is too used to swiping across mobile screen. Correct. Correct. And when you make that first adjustment which is a match. Mm. Mm. You're going to change your lifestyle? Yes. Everything changes on that yes. one day. You've adjusted. Yes. yes. Now go for the whole hog. Yes. Then go for the whole hog. Don't say I can swipe. Correct. Just because you feel that you know you're losing out on your independence or or, or your individuality. Mm-hmm. and i am seeing a lot of um, um, couples they you know they they move around for two or three years they get married and within eight months it's over mm. i don't know i you know that breaks my heart it really okay. breaks my heart okay. to see that just hang in there for some time sure um, and and say that you know what was it what is that thing that actually made me fall in love with this individual yes latch on to that correct latch on to that and that's your correct. prayer for the morning correct that's what i saw and that's what i'm going to encourage in my partner correct hang on to that hang on to that don't hang on to the thing that you know uh, you uh, oh, oh, yeah. okay fine man it's okay yes uh, you know you, and 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 this whole pension to win an argument yes who cares who won the who argument the after a certain time nobody will know what the hell you're arguing about absolutely Absolutely. What are you arguing? I don't know. What was it Absolutely. last night? Do you do you remember me? We left off last night. Yeah. You don't. And I'll tell you one thing. There was one principle. I think at a very young age. I'm a very childish person, as you can see. Mm-hmm. I'm a very childish person, and I think that's the, the that's the most mature thing I ever do is remain childish. That's childlike, sir. <laughs> childlike. Beautiful. Yeah, but I'll tell you the one principle that we we made, and I it can work for a lot of people, mm-hmm. is that the the argument who wins is not important correct but if you want to complete the argument go ahead and complete the argument mm. but complete the argument before you go to sleep mm. don't mm. wake up with an unfinished argument just finish it yes finish it say sorry okay. apologize okay. kiss and go to sleep okay that's it don't Amazing. wake up in the morning and say yeah and that's a principle Yes. No, you're not allowed to go to sleep. Saying no, no, no. Come, I'm very sleepy. No, just okay. I'm sorry. If you're too sleepy, go to sleep. I'm sorry, my fault. Mm. End of it. Big deal. This is a person that you swore you're gonna love for the rest sure. of your life. Sure. Amazing. Sorry, I preached a little bit. Yeah. No, no, no. Sorry. Not preachy. Giving two important principles, and I think the two important principles, guys, to take note that uh, he mentioned were number one: always remember why you started. <laughs> how did the relationship start because if you keep focusing on why it started give it a chance i'm not saying keep going in an abusive relationship if it's abusive, no 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 we never yes, say nobody sure. neither was saying nobody is ever advocating that if <clears throat> no. it's an abusive thing we end that but otherwise otherwise keep focusing on what is crucial why you started that spark that connected you and the second thing of course is a good latch advice that. and latch on to that yes and the second thing that he suggested was end your arguments before going to sleep don't carry that burden and uh, to be honest who cares you know arguments keep happening and we forget them and they keep coming again chalta rehta hai 19 20 to duniya mein aur life mein chalta rehta hai don't make it into a life where it's love at first sight and divorce at first sight guys you know so and that's the world we live in but moving forward uh, one of my last questions to you gomanjeev is that uh, 
we've spoken about variety of relationships in this topic on boosting our relationships uh, my last question is this we live in a very modern world today you know a generation that we've never seen everybody right. so digitally connected isn't it right and right. The, i'm sure there are some parents watching this instagram live as well and one relationship is with your kids isn't it right and right. Uh, you and your good wife brought up beautiful children uh danish and uh kayo uh, kayo you know and uh, uh you you had that sense of parenting in you it was in the generation but times have changed and right. the oh, the principles remain the same throughout but the application of how you did it may not work today jaise bacche aajkal kya bolte hai pata like one child is asking his mom when was i downloaded mom <laughs> now that's like hilarious you know i got hit and asked when was i uploaded oh my god sorry <laughs> <laughs> so we are okay. living in a generation where the jargon is different where everything seems to be so different than when we were <laughs> up there you know so now my question is if there be one principle that you would now share with uh, the nation kayo your sons in how they would bring up their children one parenting principle i know your heart is into zian and saisha your grandchildren <laughs> right. so what would that one principle be with which all the parents watching here could benefit as well you know i don't think the digital uh, zamana should change parenting uh i'll tell you why because uh, <coughs> excuse me because it's the first 5 years yeah your parenting actually happens in just the first 5 years sure you know what once once the roots are into the soil and and i think then after that what grows is a consequence of that yes so in, in the first 5 years um i think more or less parenting is more or less the same yes. uh later on what happens is is a is a result of that correct first 4 to 5 years yes um i and i think the principle should remain the same that day my son was you know putting his daughter to sleep mm-hmm. and it was a most beautiful photograph i mean a mm-hmm. sight you mm-hmm. know to see my son with his daughter and you know he was, he was holding her like that and mm-hmm. he he was he was literally you know, he was pretty tired the whole day you know taking care yeah. of her parenting while while uh, sure breya with his with the older one and this one is taking care danish is taking care of saisha and he looked at me and i don't know whether he meant it he meant it for me uh, or he was genuinely asking for advice or what but he said mm-hmm. something that was amazing mm. he looked at me and he looked and said dad will they remember all of this mm. and i said do you <laughs> true it doesn't matter if they true. don't it doesn't remember. matter so it true. doesn't matter i'll tell you what matters is you know i think i think a loving a loving caring considerate heart is to be nurtured yes uh, yes to i think family <laughs> the value of family is important correct and and three honesty you don't need to teach them maths and science yes yes if they learn maths and science they will learn on their own because they are they are, you know they yes. move to, but i think i think that's all you need to teach the kids everything else you are supposed to do it's part of your contract not the child's contract correct you are not doing them no favors correct. so you're not doing them a favor by saying i put you to school mm. uh, yeah big big deal thank you yes big yes. favor no you wanted to put your kids to a good school yes it's your contract so nothing really changes <laughs> Mm. and you doing not doing anybody no favor and you cannot recall that and that and i did this and i sent you here and i sent you there yes. this is what i get oh, yeah. hello you wanted to do it Correct. so and she, and you know he was so tired and you uh, remember all this i said wow well, doesn't matter do you doesn't matter <laughs> do you <laughs> you know just you want her to be healthy yes. you want her to be loving yes. and you want her to be honest yes yes amazing amazing what beautiful principles you know a loving caring heart is the bottom line how it is expressed is different with different people and different times but a loving caring heart a well wishing heart to our children and uh, and to like, others huh? and, and to, to others, others i'll tell you of course, of course. i'll tell you something i'll tell you something it's so important today there are, there are you know a couple of thousand people listening in here and i'm saying to myself you know if one youngster 
buys what yes. buys what you are saying sure right. fine it's fine perfect i i completely believe in that totally even if one person takes what we are saying seriously and transforms done sir this whole live session is a success <laughs> in this mm. lockdown time but yes we definitely know. definitely need to give our children the roots to be grounded sure. and the wings to fly you know sure. so they have the roots to be grounded and wings to fly sure. uh, it's been an amazing conversation with uh, boman sir but i would now like to have some one word associations quick i say one word and you answer in one word sir quick one words i know you speak and i know one words are going to <laughs> but let's see how it goes let's see how it goes to conclude and end our conversation for this evening uh, so here are the words uh, bollywood um <laughs> I'm not good at this, but but uh, Bollywood uh, gratitude, gratitude, acting, my life, your life. Wow, uh, Zenobia, seven. <laughs> <laughs> Zeno Zeno is is not you'd be very upset if i decided to say something in in one word for yes. Zeno Bia is uh mother ma wow amazing uh mother one word superma. for mother superma <laughs> devi ma superma devi ma amazing amazing yeah. sons oh the apples The apples, grandchildren, the cherries, cherries, family, sanity. Say it again. Sanity. Sanity. A love. Spread. Spread love. Wow. Uh, money. Um. खाना पीना थोड़ा एंजॉय खाना पीना थोड़ा सक्सेस ग्रैटिट्यूड अगेन ग्रैटिट्यूड स्पिरिचुअलिटी अनफोर्स्ड अनफोर्स्ड वाह गॉड विद इन within life gratitude gratitude woman it's been such an incredible pleasure having you over and having you answer this questions on relationships from your personal experience with depth with genuineness with uh, gratitude with experience and with a lot of humor as always uh this virus has brought us so much positivity in this lockdown time because the corona virus <laughs> together we are praying that corona virus goes away soon the lockdown ends guys stay safe stay home wash your hands sanitize your hands use masks whenever required do all the precautions that are required and stay safe but the tag line and the important line for this evening session in boosting relationships is this no human being is perfect do not look for perfection in your relationships look for genuineness sincerity and affection if you look for perfection you may be disappointed if you look for genuineness sincerity and affection there's a scope to expand the scope the bandwidth of our emotional quotient so once again thank you very much boman sir for being with us and such an amazing person such an amazing friend i can't thank you enough for all your insights have a great evening thank you so you much you too sir you too thank you thank you, thank you for joining us thank you thank you